Alright everyone, welcome back to Spin Tires. Now, last time we didn't have very much success at all. So I went ahead and I set up a few things. First off, we have the long log trailer here. Ready to pick up some long logs, which we'll do in just a moment. Uh, I've also... Uh, previous to that I had unlocked the whole map, so I had... Uh, basically, so I can see wh where I'm going now. And previously we did try to go, if you remember the previous episodes, we tried going along this path and cutting up through here and we ended up right here getting stuck so there's a huge rut I kinda used the smaller vehicle this thing which it's hurting pretty bad now it's almost completely destroyed um, so I can't do too much with it anymore but we'll leave it there just in case we need to scout out some more areas but I, I did some scouting or trailblazing I guess you could even call it uh, with that thing first off to try to plot out a route however that was several weeks ago here in the real world and uh, I do apologize for the break in videos here too, but um, hopefully we can get back on it and get back on a pattern on a, uh, here and finish up this map and then move on to another one. I do want to try another map. Um, hopefully we can find one that's a little bit easier to navigate than this, yet still exciting of course. Um, so this thing I decided to park out in the middle of the swampy area. I figure at some point if I, going along here, because I plan on going, uh, if you follow my mouse, starting out the same route but then climbing up, a, there's a little bit of a hill here, and maybe coming across this way. And I think we might be able to do that. This thing, uh, it's determined, let me go to it, determined that this thing can't pull the trailer. It does have that crane thing though, which uh, I can do a few things with. I can. I discovered I can lift it up and down the whole crane system, like, not much, just a few degrees. Um, but really this thing will be great, I think, for towing our, our log truck out of the mud. And, uh, but it's going to be really, really difficult here, I think, because uh, pulling this, getting this thing through the area, through all this mud, especially right here, seeing how long it is too, is just going to be such a challenge. It's going to be so many tight turns that are probably going to cost us. Uh, so I think what we should do right away is plot our route. So I think that going along here is probably going to be very, very, very difficult. Because not only are there relatively sharp turns in there, but it's not exactly level ground. I'll have my truck up. Well, the, the paths are in a like a ditch, so that'll be really, really difficult. I think my best bet is probably to follow this road uh, first, which in the map it almost looks paved, but it is far from it. Uh, and then maybe we can head along right and take us right to there. So let's go ahead and and kind of mark that. You know, at first I thought this whole uh, whole way you can mark paths was kind of dumb and and cheap and really needed to be worked on. But now that I can, now that I kind of understand it and have used it a bit, I like it. You could plot your own path like that, rather than just saying click, clicking on the map and it being like, oh yeah, here's your possible route. You can navigate yourself. It, it really, I think it adds a little bit to the game. So I have a limited amount of points here that I can place, and that's the limit apparently. But uh, once we get to there, then we'll we'll figure out what we're doing. Um, if we make it there. So let's load up the long logs and crap, that's... Of course. Alright, let's see if I can't win... No, I have nothing to winch this to. It's saying the truck is... Um... Oh, diff lock and all wheel drive. It's saying the truck isn't quite uh, straight enough. There we go. Ooh, boy. <laughs> this could be... Extremely interesting. This thing doesn't have a whole lot of fuel either. Let's let's see if we can't. Um, does this thing have any fuel left in it? Oh, start the engine. That would help. I guess we're gonna find out. We took damage in this thing already. That's good. Uh, oh, need to get a little bit closer. Okay, there we go. Gave a little bit of fuel there. Let's back it up out of the way again. Probably gonna need all the space we can get there. Uh, parking brake, that's what I'm looking for. And we might as well stop the engine, just because we can. Switch back on over to this thing. And, well, here goes nothing. That's, uh, I'm gonna take this turn kind of wide here at first. Because we want to avoid all the rocks to my left side without, uh, we don't want the trailer to hit those, and the same with the stack of logs, of course. 
looks like so far so good. <laughs> Famous last words. We're struggling though. We are struggling. There's going to be a lot of winching going on, I think. Let's see if we can't get a better view. Ooh. This thing is going to be so top heavy. It's going to. You thought I was worried about tipping before? You just wait. Oh no, this mud is deeper. Come on. Get out of the mud. Come on. Come on. Oh boy. Come on. <laughs> and we're off to a good start. Well then, let's uh let's pull out that winch, shall we? Which way do I want to pull ourselves myself? I can pull myself to the right and possibly tip my trailer back to the normal angle. And uh, there's rocks dancing around here, isn't there? Do you see the one, the rocks wiggling? Or I could try pulling myself to the right and then getting myself leveled out. But uh, I, I, somehow I think that this way might be a little bit better. Let's do this one. I might pull us forward a bit, maybe. All right, all right. Detach that. Ooh. Come on. Don't tip it back there. Come on, is this more solid ground? Please be slightly more solid ground. Looks like it is. Uh, maybe left would have been better, but we're I think we're already committed now. I think we're best off heading towards the edge of the water, possibly. I think this is a big mistake. <laughs> we're probably going to suck back so much fuel taking this route, getting stuck so much. Oh man. Should I try just going over top of the rocks? I'm worried about the water being a rather unlevel surface. But I mean, okay, let's see if I can back up a little. So I'm not making much progress going forwards. But I mean, I might get stuck on all the rocks and that might cause my trailer to be unlevel as well too. Okay, I need to back up again. I just can't get over that little lip in the mud there. Under the raised ground, so I think I need to... Get a bit of a different angle at it. I guess I'm going for the rocks then. Okay, okay. We're not moving very fast, but if we can keep this going, then I'll, I'll be happy. we don't take too much damage. I might need to send it a repair vehicle at one point. I don't think that that big vehicle of ours had repair points with it, did it? Although we have that tire on top of this thing. I'm not sure if it's used or not, though. So we might be able to use some repair points. And that tire might actually just give it more durability right off the, the bat. Okay, we're slowly making progress. Let's keep to the the left of the truck. Oh man, we're going to do that several more times. That's going to be slow going. Oh man. Looks like some more deep mud over there too. The trailer's getting hung up on the rocks a little bit. It's Oh, it's dragging a big boulder underneath. Hopefully we can get that. Hopefully we don't get completely stuck on that. That could be problems. That's going to be problems, I think. Hopefully we hit a bump the right way and that rock will pass underneath the rear end of the trailer. The rear axle there has several big boulders that it's dragging. Come on. Got over a couple of them, but there's still that big one in the middle axle. Dare I reverse? Should I go through the water or to the right? Uh, I think we're going to try the water. To the right looks like it's hilly and there's the rocks there too. I'm still dragging that boulder. This 
going to be the death of me. That, that boulder is going to cause so many problems. I need to get the trailer around it a little bit. Oh man, easier said than done. Okay. Maybe I can go around the water. Also, maybe I can get stuck. Crap. Okay, I don't suppose anything's within winch range, is it? Uh, no, nothing's quite in range over there. Uh oh. Hey, fuel truck, you wanna you wanna come help us? I, I would be forever in your debt. Okay, parking brake is off. Diff and all-wheel drive are on. Take a damage. We don't have any damage points to spare. Our engines are already sputtering. It's okay, we just need to get part way there, or to where we are now, and then pray we don't get stuck again, because if we do, we're probably going to have to bring in the, the bigger vehicle. Oh man, this thing is sputtering. I won't get this thing stuck though, please. These rocks are probably going to be a bit of a pain for it, but we're going to follow the path made by the big log trailer. Oh boy. We're not even on that path. Doesn't look any better anyway. Okay, we're almost there already. That was so much quicker than that trailer pulling the logs that far. Oh, I might have spoke too soon. Get over all the rocks. Too bad I couldn't just winch out that one individual rock, eh? That'd make life easier. Now before I go down in this mud too deep, can I reach the winch that far? Not quite. Dang. Maybe a little bit closer. I don't want to get myself stuck in there too. There we go. Gotta be careful I don't tip it. release. Um, maybe I should go to the other side and, you know, I'm going to try to get beside the trailer and pull the trailer over. Um, if I want to go that way, then maybe I should pull the trailer to the right, possibly. Uh, let's try pulling it to the left and see what happens. I think that's, that's uh, a bit better for this truck. I don't want to get it stuck. And then, and then it's a whole thing. Okay, let's try it. Whoops. Don't mind the whoopses. I, I only clicked, misclicked slightly, and that only caused a few problems. But anyway, uh, nothing to worry about. Everything's fine here. No problems at all. Oh. Parking brake is on. Pull the trailer. Full of logs. You can do it. Uh, don't tip it over though. That that would be bad. That would be extremely bad. Oh boy. Oh no. What have we done? How convenient to have that truck right there to winch to though. Do I, am I still connected? No, I am not. Right? Right. I am still stuck though. Dang it! And there's still that rock under there. Grrr. <laughs> oh, this is going great already. Oh, start engine. Why are you started? You can do it. 
You can do it. Come on, baby. So close. So close. Dang it! <laughs> if only those trailer wheels turned too. Or if we didn't have that dang... Uh, change truck. If we didn't have that dang... Those dang logs on the back. Oh yeah, this thing's stuck. Forgot about that. Luckily we have trees behind us we can use for this one. Right, right. Eve. To be honest, I kind of forgot about the trees behind me. It's a good thing I eventually remembered. Or else that could have been a lot more painful to watch. Alright, let's see if we can't get into a better pulling position here. Wheels straight. Drive forward and heave. Heave, I say. No, heaving. You're a terrible heaver. You you need a lesson in heaving. <laughs> that could be taken more than one way. All right. Let's uh get just a tad bit closer. We need to change trucks to that thing, and we're not in range. Okay, let's do this the old-fashioned way. We only made it this far. Wow. That's kind of terrible. Okay, center the camera on the truck with the two key, and then we can... If we do this, then we can use the winch and have that truck pull at the same time, right? Oh, you're accelerating the wrong way, though. So that means I need to... point this truck the opposite direction. It pulls in a direction where it kind of pulls stuff out by reversing, not by traveling forward. Which makes sense. But, kinda. Let's get this thing to the best possible leverage place. We determined this little solid part there isn't the best place. And we do want to get directly behind the trailer so we don't tip it over when we try to pull it. Remember, it is a top-heavy trailer. And maneuvering in the mud, especially with the diff lock on, is such a pain. There we go. Okay, let's, let's try this. Are we close enough? No, we might be close enough to winch, though. Uh, start engine. Don't know why you stopped. But, I guess that's what you do. Nice, we're close enough. Now if we use the winch... Now you go forwards? Oh, I'm confused. Um... Why are you suddenly going forward, sir? Come up closer so I can switch to you. Does it need to be like the last direction? Does he use the last direction traveled? Or something? Whoops. I'm, I'm confused. I don't... I don't get why... How it determines that then. Still going forward. That is not helpful. That is not helpful at all. What the hell? So if I turn this thing around again, am I gonna have this exact same problem? Is it gonna try to move towards the vehicle again? I'm probably doing something really silly and you guys are going to yell at me in the comments. <laughs> That's typically how it works. Alright, 
That's uh. Okay, and we're not close enough to change trucks that way, so we'll do this. Engine, are you started? Yes, you are. Okay. Winch, winch, pull. Okay, what's going on? Or is it just simply not able to drive forward? <laughs> Maybe I can uh, get out of the advanced mode, drive this thing forward, and get the other vehicle to kind of push me along. That kind of works. That's funny. <laughs> I think we might be onto something here. I mean, I'm kind of scared that that's going to cause my truck to get pushed over on its side, but is he still behind me? He is. I think we got, we're onto something here, guys. <laughs> Hopefully they're not slamming together, damaging each other. Hopefully this doesn't cause balance issues. I'm sure this won't work forever, especially once we're not going in a straight line, but oh my god, that's intelligent. <laughs> can make the trucks work together. I'm afraid to do anything but drive in a straight line now. I do have to make a slight turn here. Let's try to keep this on level ground. <laughs> I can't believe this works. Bit of a dip. Should be okay though. As long as we take it kind of straight. Uh, more rocks. Lots of bumpy ground here. It's going to be hard to manage. I need to be careful here, I'm getting myself into a mess. Okay. Let's be careful this part too. I think we're just going to go right through the water with this unstoppable train we have. <laughs> oh my god. Careful, we have a big trailer and there's a hill beside us. Looks like a lot of gooey mud to our right, so let's not get sucked in. I mean, we won't get stuck unless we get wedged up against something or tipped over. Those are my big worries. We're struggling here. Let's not get both trucks stuck at the same time, too. Come on, just a little bit more and then we'll bite in a little bit. I guess if we get the uh, the fuel truck stuck though, then it's going to drag this truck down too. I'm probably hitting that tree on my right side. Let's see if I can... I'm probably going to hit that, yeah. Hopefully we have enough power to run it over or something. Man, looking backwards at this is scary. Come on tree, just, just die. Okay, looks like we're about past it. I can't believe this is working. Oh my god, that makes life so much easier. Fuel truck pushing the big log truck. If I can do this all the way there, which is a fuel truck, I think it might have a little bit of fuel. No, I think it's actually out of fuel. Well, maybe it has some. If we can keep both trucks fueled all the way there and do this the whole way. Oh my god, this is going to be easy. I, s I shouldn't have said that, now I'm doomed. I say that as I roll into the ruts here. Because remember, if I get that fuel truck stuck, then this whole contraption is probably going to get dragged down with it. I have a feeling the fuel truck is having a hard time on this hill and these ruts. Especially on a bit of a turn here, it's going to be fighting to stay, fighting, it's going to be trying to get out of the ruts. Okay. I do have that big long trailer too. Any sharp corners are just going to be the end of us. Especially now that our truck is almost 
It's like another 50% long because of that fuel truck. Oh man, I hear stuff colliding with other stuff, but I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, this is a bit of a iffy spot. If I take this wrong, I could flip the whole thing. So let's not take it wrong. We're taking it wrong. We're taking it wrong. Oh boy. <laughs> it's going in reverse too. I didn't even think of that. Would probably be more helpful. Well... I guess it might be more helpful going in reverse. I'm not sure if it'll get stuck easier in forward or reverse, but that'll that'll affect how it steers, so maybe it is better if the fuel truck's facing backwards towards us like that. Let's try to get out of this rut a little bit. Oh, I need to be careful with that, though. Yeah, I need to be careful... If we tip over too much, then we lose our load. We can't reload it all unless we actually go all the way back to where we pick these things up. <laughs> that fuel truck is so far back there. Oh my god. Alright, looks like the ruts are changing. This is where we started having our struggle before. Yeah, you can see the logs just over the top of my truck there to our right. That's where I tipped the truck previously. That was with a medium log trailer, and this is the long one. And we're struggling again. I think we're stuck. I'm trying to kind of wiggle back and forward and backwards a little bit. It might have actually worked. Yeah, I backed up, pushing the fuel truck along with me in reverse. And then got forward a little bit more, dug through a little bit more of the rut. We're not out of the... We're not... We're not safe yet, but that kind of worked. I wonder if this is a good idea to do, still try to do this tactic over the planes. Since the fuel truck's going in reverse, it's probably going to slow us down. And once we lose speed, then we sink into the mud a little more. And if you're starting to get stuck in this game, I've noticed that you should just keep going full speed ahead. As soon as you stop, you're... You're stuck, stuck. Oh, don't tip right. Turn off the headlights so we can see better. <laughs> uh, silly game. Come on, baby. This is slow going. At least we're going, though. I'll take that if we're getting stuck any day. Looks like we're starting to bite into some slightly less deep mud. Should speed up progress a tad. Although there's still lots of ruts ahead. I think this is going to be a long journey. Long, long journey. Oh, and we're stuck again. We're very, very slowly moving forward. But I think we need to try this whole... Reverse very slightly, and then give her going forward technique again. Uh, I don't know, is there any trees close enough to winch to? I don't think so. And as soon as I winch to that, then I lose that winch back there, although I can kind of restart that one, can't I? So let's, um, not pack cart, don't click that by accident. Don't drop load. Not, I could put the fuel truck in front of us and do it that way. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything close enough yet. Well, let's let's try moving it without uh, fuel truck pushing us. Maybe the fuel truck's stuck and hold us down, hold us back. Apparently not. Man, that was, for the longest time there, the perfect technique. And I think I'm still going to try to use it. 
But uh, I think I need to hop into this fuel truck to try to get around us, which is going to be difficult. Oh, it took some damage doing this trip, though. Yeah, it's just as stuck. So I think its usefulness might have ended. Let's go on over and pick up our beastly machine. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. Start the engine on this bad boy. And then we'll head on over. Go rescue ourselves. 34 damage. Dang it, 36 damage. Well, I've already taken <laughs> nearly 100 damage. Yep, especially now. Okay, going over the rocks, apparently a bad idea. I will, I will take that to heart for the next time I feel like going over rocks. I mean, this thing doesn't get stuck as easy, and it's a huge thing, but... I mean, especially with that front end, how much overhang there is in front of the front tires, it takes damage just as easy as everything else. Even though it is so much bigger and it's taller. Okay, what's ahead of us? I think I should hug right a little bit. Need to be careful here. It looks like uh, I or someone has had trouble over there before. Taking down those sa these saplings is going to hurt us a little bit, I think. Maybe not too much. Yeah, no real damage now, just that first one. Oh, there's a little bit of damage, but... You know, I can live with a couple points here and there. It's the big ones there. It's like 30, 50, 100 damage. And then it's like, ouch. Did not want that. We gotta be getting close now. I see some glowing over there. I'm not sure if it's the, our truck or not, though. Okay, I see our truck. Let's get in a position to, to pull ourselves out. I think we should. Hmm. I wonder if I can winch those two trucks together and then winch this one to the front of the, the log hauling truck. Turn off the diff lock, because I think we can turn a little bit better without that. Pretty sure you can in real life. Actually, in real life, can you use the diff lock and all-wheel drive at the same time? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Turning is not working well here regardless. Mud does not help. So we're going to try reversing to it. Hopefully not getting ourselves stuck in this. Oh, careful. Don't you dare. Uh, I was kind of hoping to stay out of the ruts, but... Whatever, they don't seem as big on this thing. The tires are wide enough. Alright, that might be close enough. Let's, uh... Try to winch. Uh, let's do this. I think if we have it uh, winched to a higher point, then it'll kind of pull the front end of this thing up. And that'll help us out a bit. Those aren't winched together. Let's see if we can jump over there, uh, change truck, and winch these together real quick. No. Okay. One winch point in the game, it looks like, at a time. Um. We need to start the engine on that thing, though. We'll come back for the fuel truck if we decide we need it. But for now, maybe we're best off... Uh, are we still attached to the, the winch there? No, we are not. Okay. That's kind of a key point. We can make it accelerate. I guess the winch wasn't doing anything the whole time. It was just sitting there slack. Come on, 
heave. All right. Let's see if we can, uh, this might be a really bad idea. Try this thing forward. Like this in a convoy. Ooh, that's, this could be dangerous. This could really be dangerous. It doesn't help that I can't see where I'm going. For the life of me. Oh right, this this part now could be a challenge. Sure, right looks like we'll sink in really quick. Straight up, I'm not sure if we can make this hill to be honest. I think we're gonna have to kind of turn here. This, this could be trouble. How are we doing back there? Oh boy. Keep that truck level. Keep it level. This thing looks like it's it's struggling a little bit, but it's it's biting in. It's holding its own. I may have spoke too soon again. Oh there we go. It showed its it's like, oh, what's that? You're talking about me not doing good. I got this, don't worry. I need to be careful too, because this isn't very level ground. It's going to be muddy here. Alright, let's uh, let's disconnect the winch back there. Try to get this thing un unstuck, maybe repositioned a little bit better. This hill is going to cause problems if we're not really, really careful. We need to get the log truck up to the top before we can turn and that's some deep mud there so the best way to do that hmm, maybe I should have tried going up the ruts there so I think that I originally was planning on yeah going past that maybe I should still try to do that I mean to go up here rather than going this way yeah I think I should still go up there so let's let's do that. Um, let's go scout it out real quick in this thing. In reverse, sure, why not? Okay, here. Um, Headlights make no difference at all in this fog. Uh, it looks pretty muddy here, but... I have a feeling this is going to be... Well... Is this going to be our best bet? Is a very, very difficult question to answer. Indeed. Maybe there's a bit of a pathway that down there I can follow? Yeah, there's a bit of a path down here I could follow along where it's level ground you see right behind me. Looks like it leads all the way back, so I think that's going to be our best bet. is a little bit muddy. That could be problems. But, uh... I, th I think that's our best bet. <laughs> I remember when I was doing some scouting, I got a little jeep thing stuck there. That's what all those ruts were about. Okay, let's go back with this thing. The fog has cleared. So now... We can see the next episode from here. Ha 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 ha.